Good morning to you. Good morning. So they have uh, STEM centers here in Sacramento and one in Modesto, but they serve 18 counties. And so sometimes it can be difficult for the girls to be able to get to these STEM centers. So the solution, this RV, which I think is so genius of them. Now, I'm going to introduce you to Maida, but she really needs no introduction because she's been on her show a lot and she is home for the summer. In fact, her dad is here with her because he probably wants to spend every minute that he can. You yes. are at the University of Texas at Dallas. What are you studying? I'm majoring in computer science at University of Texas at Dallas. And obviously Great. supporting everything that STEM has done. And you've gotten a chance to be able to start the STEM Center here and now come back and help with some of the media for this RV. So the mobile STEM Center. So let's kind of walk us through yeah, what sure. the girls can be able to do inside here. So we have some really cool activities here at the mobile STEM makerspace center here. So let's start off with the 3D printer. So we brought that one aspect from the Sacramento Makerspace. So girls from beginners to advanced levels, they can create little designs and learn computational skills so through 3D, 3D printing. This one's a little bit smaller than the one that you guys have inside, but obviously for the RV they have to do a smaller thing. Now this might look like just an empty space, but oh no, because this is oh going no. to become a crime scene. Oh snap. Because uh, of course. Why would you take, why would you want to do anything else with this blank space to make it into a crime scene? And they're going to be learning forensic science over here? Exactly. So they're going to be learning forensic science and how to deal with crime scenes. It's very cool. And this is all going to be changing every six months, right? Because the girls are going to be able to come here and then they're going to be able to get their badge. So let me introduce you to Beth, who has also helped to make all of this happen. You guys serve such a wide area. Great to be able to have this RV. So right now we're focusing on forensic science and what else? Robotics, engineering, and yeah, that'll be in space science right now. So that'll keep changing, um, but those are some of our most popular workshops right now. So we wanted to bring that out on the road to girls. One of the things you, uh, Girl Scouts really prides themselves is being able to help uh, all girls, uh, no matter where they live or what their income is. And so there are scholarships available. Everything on the RV is going to be less than $20 for them to be able to come. There are scholarships that are going to be available. And where are some of the places that you guys are going to go? We're talking like parks, libraries. Yeah, we'll have everything posted on the website. This is only available to Girl Scouts, but they'll be able to find us online. We'll be in um, community centers, libraries. We'll pull up in a parking lot, unroll the... Um the welcome mat, and then girls can start participating in activities there. It'll be really fun. One of the really cool things, too, is that they're going to have the badges with them. So once they complete, like, the forensic science, well, they're going to get the badge right there. So it's not oh, like they have cool. to wait to be able to get that. Yeah, they're going to walk off of the RV, and they're going to have that badge in hand. If you want to find out more information, you can go on the Girl Scouts website. We've linked that to our website, GoodDaySacramento.com, and you can find out more information about where they're going to be so that your Girl Scout can participate. That's awesome. And gals, Love that. Careful, there's a crime scene right now. Yeah. <laughs>